All right, folks, this is a little follow-up video on a sump pump job, a little job that we did here. This is, uh, we're at the church. Got, uh, this is a day or two after we received about nine inches of rain from the remnants of Hurricane Ida. So we got nine inches of rain. I see no water seepage here. No water seepage in this corner. This had previously flooded out. This is a, an old sump pump pit. I mean, look at that monster. Wheel Pump Company, Chicago, Illinois. Um, not really sure how often this one really runs. I, I guess it runs, right? So. But that's not the issue. That's not where we did our work. So let's show you here. Give you a little bit of a recap of where we did our work, right? So it was in this room right here. We put in, we cut out a, a hole here and put in a little giant, that's a little giant uh, pump. I think it's a little giant, right? A little giant. Went in with, uh, I think that's inch and a half or two inch conduit, so that way I can get my plug in, no problem. Nicey nice, plugged in. Got a, an elbow with a fern cow coming up to the wall, strapped to the wall. This all was installed last year during COVID, so when I went to the Home Depot, I could not get any supplies. They had no straps, so I had to rig it up. I got my pressure 90, right? That's not a that's not a drain 90, that's a pressure 90. Comes across, strap, strap, strapped. Pressure 90 again. Zip tied to the pipe like a pro. Pressure 90 over here, and then I ran out of pressure fittings. So and actually the Home Depot and even some plumbing supply places didn't have any pressure fittings, so we went with regular 90 fitting there. Boom, boom, boom. I 45 a little piece, so I 45 again. And we butted that out nice, right? So apparently the system has been working pretty well. Um, water comes in from this wall. There used to be a drain in these window wells. I mean, the drain's still there. It obviously doesn't work anymore. Trying to snake it out and stuff like that is useless. It just, just not working. So water comes down uh, through the foundation, pours. Easiest thing I could do without making too much of a mess was just cut two little channels into the floor. And those two little channels into the floor are actually working pretty damn well, according to the housekeeper here, to actually channel the water from there into the sump pit. Obviously this is the lowest spot in the room and you know, water's gonna naturally gravitate there anyway, right? And I like to, to use my sprinkler boxes for this. They also used to have water that came into this area here. Somebody had installed this sump in a five gallon bucket I'm not even sure how the hell that float works or if it works. I don't see any room for it to actually lift up, but I guess if there's enough water, maybe it will. But what happened was, same idea over here. I had water coming in from this window. Again, the drain doesn't work. So what I did is, I'm not sure if you can tell. Looks like the shop pack is empty, which means they haven't been using it, which is great. Um, so basically what I did is I, I cut the tiles away from the wall to create a little bit of a channel. These tiles popped right up, no problem, because they were soaked in that water or soaking in that water for a long time. And I did the same thing on this side. You can't really tell. So that water, sorry for the video. I'm not sure if you could really see here. If I did get but that 
those tiles are popped off there too. You could see it there at the end, right? To create a channel because this is a window well here, even though there's an air conditioner in there. It's a window well and water pisses out of somewhere there. So I guess that some pump doesn't work or I wonder if water's flowing. Eh, I'm assuming it's working because water used to come from those walls, flood this entire floor this entire tile floor and also start to seep through this wall. So I wonder if it's making its, its way underneath the tiles to this sump pump, you know, possibly. But there you have it, you know, pretty easy uh, fix to a not so easy problem, I guess, you know, uh, easy in the sense that it's not, it wasn't expensive to do this, right? You know, and over here obviously is in finished, so we don't care if it's an actual French drain. It's getting the water out and uh, they don't have to stand on pallets. They used to have pallets like this. See how that's sitting up on pallets? They used to have pallets to walk in here for when it rained. So, um, like I said, we got almost nine inches of rain in seven hours. Seven hours, nine inches of rain. And we don't have any water problems here, so I would consider this a win, a good fix. I love putting this, uh, the, uh, the sump pumps in a sprinkler box. I mean, it's just nice and easy, sturdy. You could stand on it, right? And I like using those, uh, those chases there, those conduits there. We just had that conduit sitting around in the uh, garage from a, from an old project. So threw it in there, but that, Two inch conduit works nice. I mean, you don't have to worry about what type of plug you're using and stuff like that. So nice little trick, right? So it's about as neat as I'm gonna get it. I mean, I could come back and fix these straps, but you know what? She's working and that's good enough for me and my friends. All right, so good luck. If you have any questions on this project or any other sump pump installs, let me know. Obviously you could tell where the rocks are wet they're wet from this side, right? They're dry from that side. So uh, the sump pump is working and uh, that's it, man. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, hit subscribe, like. Tell me I'm doing it all wrong. Tell me how you would have done it, right? Let, let's hear what you got to say. But if you start commenting on these videos, talking to everybody out there, and you don't have any videos posted on how you do things, Man, just before you actually hit submit, just erase your comments, dude. I want to see your videos. I want to see what you do, not just your comments. Peace out.